He's had three from that exact same spot. Two on the timer. Poku, the drive off the glass and got it to go. Something he's done throughout his career with the Thunder. Able to get a foothold on that five spot. Pokashevsky off the deck, lets it go. What a shot. With Iguodala in the vicinity. And then he has a great knack for scoring once he gets in there. SGA putting a lot of work in on the possession. Finds the open man. Pokashevsky catch fire three, and that is good. Steps to the side, puts up the three. Off. Metu leaking out, and Metu got blocked at the rim by Poku, who recovered defensively. In the third, and Metu chasing down, chased down by Poku. You know what I'm going to say. I usually say this about the offense. I'm giving the defense some credit now. And we'll try to bleed it out. Struz looking for the help, coming over. Instead, it's a Pokashevsky. Catch fire three. That bottoms. So once again, it's Kenrich. Moves a couple of steps closer to the sideline where the ball was tapped. Got it to Poku. Poku caught it on the baseline, just inside the block, and that is going to count. Trey Mann guarded by Conchar. Under four remaining in the third. Shot clock down to six. Pokashevsky uncorks a triple, and it's in. An NBA team rhythm and confidence, then their ability to knock them down. Tip don't need tulips too, because that means you usually means you're under pressure. You don't want it to be a two, because then obviously it's low percentage. That's a three from Pokashevsky. And he makes up for it by committing a turnover. What does he do here? He goes in. Really, scoring is a premium. Sometimes players take on that personality. I've got to score every time I'm out there. Not necessarily. A lot of times you have to move the basketball. One pass. Poku gets wide open. See all the space. And, and look how deep the Timberwolves in the painted area. Because they know the Thunder like to drive. And at 21 and a half points. Well, to be exact, 21.6 points. Siakam is 21.5. Oh, Pokashevsky a little up and under move on Boucher. Got the Cavs coming to town 7.30 tomorrow night. First meeting between those two this year. It's the last team that the uh, Sixers have yet to see this season. 38-32. Oh, wow. And there's a breakdown. He's been an offense on display again for both teams. How about the back door, alley -oop? As McDaniel spots up, corner three, no good. Man trying to help out the skyscrapers. And up ahead to Roby, there's Pokashevsky went to the floor, and Roby put it on a platter for him to throw it down. Themselves early, a little above the rim action. Roby setting it up. A couple of big time players from Wednesday's win. But that's what they do. Maladon, Krejci back to Pokashevsky. And he able to hit as the shot clock expert. As Pokashevsky racing ahead, got by Williams. Oh, what a move! Pokashevsky going end to end, and then the sweet finish with the left hand. So defense and turnovers, as we mentioned in the open, are going to be key. And Jokic who had eight turnovers in the Wednesday game, and look at Pokashevsky. Pukachevsky with the rebound, crossing over right to left into the lane to the glass, oh, finger wow. roll it in, and he is fouled, and you can see. Yeah. That this young man, barely 20 years of age in his second year, he has some skills. Yeah, he's gliding down the floor. So just an amazing shooting. Oh, good job by Maladon. He didn't pressure up on Paul, knowing that Paul was going to try to distribute. And it leads to the break and the slam by Krejci. But it's ruled Phoenix basketball. How about the no-look pass? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. I see you, man. I see you. You know what? And he's been...